Hey guys, welcome to Nerdicky for, ner for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdicus Ryan, and today I'm joined by Dave, Ted. And today we talk about bringing the smack down for Matthew is running a wrestling RPG. Oh yeah! So you guys, if you got suggestions, GM911, head over to nerdarchy at gmail.com with uh, GM911 right in the su subject line and we can field them for you. So um, he's using a home rule set or homebrew rule set to, to run a sort of um, a house ruled um, I think he's using campaign. 5e though. I think he's using D. But he's modifying it heavily or something like that. Well, he's got so, it's it's his own campaign. So yeah, like he says he's got he's got his own his own system, his own own set of rules and he's comfortable with the mechanics that he has lined up, whatever they might be, but he isn't certain how to actually put this in a campaign format. He doesn't have any NPCs lined up and he's just looking for us to to help him out. I think a main man, uh, Woodward, he does, he's actually done Forgotten Realms um, wrestling. Mm. <laughs> and I, I haven't checked out any of his videos, I just know it's a thing. Mm. Uh, so you could, you know, so for one, you could check out and see what he's doing over on his channel and take a look and see uh, see if that gives you some ideas. Another thing, like we were discussing, is just Googling like the different terms and slang that you, you, you would find in pro wrestling. I mean, we're not exactly pro wrestling aficionados. I haven't watched pro wrestling since. I I have never been into pro, pro wrestling, but I do know that there are always you know, plot twists and different things going on. You have people that are quote unquote better that you're trying to beat. You have people that are not as good as you that are trying to, to, to bring you down. So there's all these little nuances that you, if, if you want to uh, pay homage to your source material, you're going to want that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially a, a, um, a tournament you could, that's what you could format it as. You could do some sort of tournament with like these drama sort of like speech things that you could have like talking to, smack talking. Um, you can sort of rumors about other character, other NPCs doing things that are untoward or like abducting people to like make, try to get somebody to throw the match type of thing. Well, so you could totally do like game sessions around this concept and mm -hmm. the culmination is probably the actual wrestling match. Yeah, right. But you know, like even if like you always have them going in into the back, into the locker rooms, you know, you're going to have NPCs like different managers and you're going to have different like personalities like the talk people and then, you know, they're, they're you know, it, it, different iterations, there's the ring girls and stuff like that. So there's definitely all these other people that you can get involved, you know, you could do something with the fans from time to time. Just go on YouTube and Google or go, do a search for the the WWF wrestling cartoon, mm. like if you just steal plots from there. Yeah. So what I would do is there are, there are wrestling name generators out there. You know, be it the, the meme where it's like, oh, you know, the first first letter of your first name and the last letter of your last name, and you can kind of piecemeal. Uh, or there's the ones that you just hit a button and it'll give you a name. But they're out there. I, I know it because there's stuff that for that for everything. Um, and gr grab names that you like and throw those as NPC wrestlers that your that your PCs are going to go up against or be teamed up with, depending upon how how the plots unravel. There's another place where you could probably get some good information as well. Uh, Spoonie did a, a review of a wrestling RPG game, mm. so like you could probably pick some uh, pointers and tips from that video as well mm. to incorporate into what you're doing. Yeah, and I mean by and large, it could just be a fun, like, the thing we're doing with uh, Epic Encounters, which is this uh, second one, either is going to happen or probably already happened as of the, when this video comes out, but it's largely the, it's a pretext to have, like, a two-hour play session where the encounter is the main thing. So that's going to be the main part of your game, really. But you could do things where monsters show up in the middle of your fight, like a big epic monster, say a Kraken or a Tarrasque or something. It's, this is, like, super high-level stuff, but maybe a smaller... That's for Hulk Hogan and yeah, Andre the Giant. Yeah, I mean, or, like, another... <laughs> Andre the Giant is actually a giant. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like, a giant could show up or something like that. And it could be this sort of, like, the guy you're fighting doesn't want to not participate in the fight to deal with it. So, like, the three, the two of you are fighting, but there's also the giant to fight while you're fighting each other. 
Um, so you could have like crazy things like that going on, and these sort so these sort of like crazy three way matches, or like the two the two um, rival combatants could work together to vanquish the monster and then finish their fight. Instead of having little person wrestling, uh, it's actually dwarves or halflings wrestling. Yeah, halflings and gnomes. Halflings and gnomes would be good. Yeah, you know, so yeah, you could definitely do some fun things with it. You could do a thing where you capture mon have monsters captured to bring into the arena to have those fights. So I mean, it becomes like a gladiatorial games too. Mm. So anything that's had like a plot line with gladiators would probably be another good um, sort of source as far as that goes. You could have storylines with like gambling and the thieves guilds and like people trying to uh, get you to throw fights. Like the plot of um, Snatch, uh, Guy Ritchie film it was about like them you know like losing their fighter because he gets knocked out by this like rando pikey like bare knuckle boxer who just knocks him out and then they had to replace the fighter and then like the whole gambling thing that goes on behind the scenes of that so you could work in like a criminal underworld element to the game uh, or also too just uh, there's all kinds of special matches yeah. that happen just in regular wrestling well yeah. imagine what you can do with it in a fantasy yeah. uh, type type world or you know what if you had two wizards wrestling but they don't actually personally wrestle it's like mage hand and telekinesis and and, and something yeah, or summoning something like that, where it turns into like a Magic the Gathering match instead. <laughs> you know, so, we, like, we don't know the specifics of this game to me, and, and it, it sounds like from the email we got that all three of us have a different idea what this, what Matthew is doing anyway. Yeah, yeah, because I thought that he's actually got his own custom rule set, and it, like, I mean, or it could be a D and D five E, and there's some certain characters that are going to be much stronger in that sort of thing. I, I viewed it as completely. He's got a homebrew set of rules, has nothing to do with D and D. That's what I thought. So, that that's what that's that was my impression. Either uh, way, we're covering all the bases today. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. So, uh, if if you guys out there have any uh, suggestions that you want to throw throw Matthew's way, regardless of which iteration of uh, rule set you think he's playing with, put in the comments below while you're at it. Like, share, even subscribe. You can snap to a Slim Jim with Snapchat. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can hang out with us over on Facebook. So until next time, stay nerdy. nerdy.